Greetings, I'm Geralt. The Witcher known as the White Wolf, I know. They tell stories about you every day around here. Looking for an open seat at the table? I'll be fine. Just wanted to talk. Gotta say, I like the place. I should hope so. Found it a rune when I came here from Unvik. Gulls shitting into the tankards through the gaps in the thatch. I bought the hut, rolled up my sleeves, and made a proper alehouse out of it. Why'd you call it the new port? Continuity. Owned the old port on Unvik. Few of my former customers come here evenings to reminisce about the old times. Heard Yalmar came here to gather men for his expedition. Aye, he did. Such spirit. Stormed in, swept the bowls off the table, jumped atop of it and cried, I'm sailing off to seek glory. Who's with me? Who wants to cut off that bloody giant's head? Guess that was enough to recruit a long boat full of men. Ah, they carry them out on their shoulders, yelling all the while, we'll win back the forge, string that giant up by his gizzards. Should have seen it, Witcher. Brought tears to my eyes. Yelmar seems popular around here. He is cracksome. Clever lad. Put together a fine crew. Hardy drinkers and warriors both. By the times I've had to piece together tables and benches after hosting them. The Unvik lads he took on. No spring minnows either. In fact, was a clan Tordorach man gave Yalmar the idea for the expedition. The shipwright, uh, what's his name? Figgy? That's him. Hope to earn a new by name, the Fearless. And now they'd call him the Loon. They wanted to take back a forge? What's that about? Never heard the Unvickers forge the best armor in these isles. Their swordsmiths are nothing to sneeze at either. Because we made our blades like the dwarves forged their sails. Soft layered core fitted with a hard steel coating. How do you know? That's a clan Todorok secret. Got some friends who are dwarves. Perhaps you do. But the ore from the mines of Undvik, not even. Well, no one's got it. That's that. Yalmar must have had a plan. Tell me about it. Plans? Ha! <laughs> They didn't even know where to look for this giant. As I recall, Viggy wanted to cross a frozen lake and scale the mountains. They say the giant came from there, awoken by the frost that gripped the land around the tower. To the harsh winter. Suited that man-eater perfectly. It can only get worse. Even the gods. Well. Mm -hmm. Another one don't believe Ragnarok is nigh. You'll see! All of you! So long. Glad to be of service. If you need to know more about Unvik or the giant, ask Axel. Or that one over there. Or Anter. What do you want? I'm looking for people from Unvik. They're dead. See now, I heard many survived. Stubborn, get your... What do you want to know? You there when the giant attacked? Aye, I was. One of the Jarl's personal guards. Uh, I failed him. Let no credence to what the priestesses said. We'd be punished. For robbing the earth of iron. Forging it into blades that men kill one another with. The Freya would punish us. They spoke the truth. Jarl of Undvik. Tell me about his death. Jarl Harald Houndsnout. His whole crew died that night. Wilmar, Wilfred, and Wilhelm. I reached them too late. Saw the giant dash Wilmar against a rock. He fell right beside me. All his bones broke, wriggling like a salmon on the sand. Harold was dead by then. 
What? No, you all fought like a bird. Slicing and dodging and hollering, then slicing again. Couldn't save himself, though. How did you manage to survive? First I heard the giant growl to those flying sirens. Damn me if he weren't giving them orders. Under stress, men see all kinds of things. I know what I saw. Rushed to help the Jarl, but one of the cunts sunk her talons in me, lifting me up. Tried to take me to their nest, pecked me apart, I reckon. But I broke loose of her grip. Plummeted from quite a height. Crashed hard, couldn't stand. Last thing I saw, swarm of sirens swooping down on the Jarl, thrashing round him. He yipped, he yelped, he screamed, he hollered. Then silence. The men escorting the women and the children to the ships took my unconscious flesh away and brought me to Ard Skellig. I should go. Yeah. I'm looking for men from Hundvik. Yavor's from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nearly a race. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. Uh, a lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or excellent Tardaroth? He's over there. What can a bloke from Art Skellig know about Onvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Galmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrete fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, dang dire. Mentioned sirens. Many on Hundvik? So, so many. More on the other ass. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing, before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that. Boy! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! Plain to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Yavar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a well looking to collect bumps on his skull can only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zerakinian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjacked my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. Need to get to Hundvik. Another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close. Lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them's shorter, just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. They breach your hull, you're done for, cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Hey, oh, fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course, dash against the rocks even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Galmar landed. Nice talking to you. By the time I was on my way, so long. Fair winds to you. Clan on Crate.
I long to be home alone To father's abode Who's corner of the To my dog with his bones To my tears And my blood's coursing souls. It's time, high time, I was homeward bound to the modest abode whose corners I roamed. I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man, another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are, they never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know, don't ask. Food suits me, suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it! You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. I had her starve to death, and I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping him build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise, won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Who were these men? My crew? They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar, Wilfred's to his right, and the lad with the stutter's Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all. Like he did the others. You're Harald Houndsnout, Jarl of Undvik? Heard you were dead. We look like stiffs to you, me and me lads. Uh, well... Exactly. So they all think me dead, you say? Mayhaps it's for the best. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew, aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, I saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor shape they were in, neath the red, fallen Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy's not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. They recognize you? No. Thank the gods. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crete was here with his men. Oh, that? No, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed? Did they, Wilmar? Oh, aye. Aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, guarding absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Yalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it. All on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember.
Delmar's encampment. They were attacked. Many wounds. Must have fought for a long time. Fought barefoot. Sirens caught them by surprise. Taken Two by surprise here, but they fought Set off the enemy. attack. These tracks Three are older. Clues. Somebody left Search their camp the before the attack. Smack in a necker's lair and cut the beast down. Hardy folk, these skeletons. Got hit good. Another track. Lost a lot of blood. Couldn't have gone much further. Archer finally caught up to him. Now where'd that archer go? Trolls. Dragged him into the cave. Wonder if he's still alive. Archer was wounded too.
something cooking over there. something. Play me for the man, then. If I win, I take him with me. If I lose, I'll jump in the pot, too. Good! Good! <laughs> no battle! First riddle. Not eat, not drink. Big E, B. Step Big E. Big he bash! A troll, of course. Uh, good troll. Now you ask. I'm light as a feather, but even a troll can't hold me for long. Never go in a sauna again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Yalmar? Croc sent me here to find Yalmar. New king will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young on Crate's return. So it started already? Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him, man, Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about Krach? He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled. Especially since Ceres set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og. And no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmar'd only... Has she come back, do you know? Yeah, she's back. Did what she set out to do, too. Thank the gods. The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm. 
Sail whipped about like a rag, finally caught sight of shore. But then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it, if not for the bloody helmsman. You smashed into the rocks. What then? Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on litters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship. Then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. How'd you get separated from the others? Had to watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's Hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me and I marinated instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair, in the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Good. Let's go. Fallen? I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog. Alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone had steal the giant out from under you. Ceres? She stayed a claim to the throne then? And you'd have rather gone with her? I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait! Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. Where's the rest of your crew? Good question. Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after the battle on the lake. Good thing you showed up when you did. Those Leif's wounds need tending. Those bitches tore him up good. But I suppose if it had all gone smoothly, it would have made for a dreadfully short ballad about our heroic adventure. Seems more doomed than heroic to me. No. That's just the gods looking to see what metal we're made of. They'll soon get their answer. <sighs> You know me? 
Our bards sing ballads about you. And my father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a Skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Your father sent me to find you. I have a giant to defeat. Head home soon as I've done that. Gotta help Leif first. Leif's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Hurry now! Pick up the pace! See you're raring to go. Enormous horse, son, he is. Wonderful. Geralt, help me smash that. We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way. I cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. now. One odd step and you can wake him. Hey, quick! Let me out before he wakes! He should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. Let's free him. Giant's pretty big. Looks pretty mean. We could use an extra blade. Even one swung by a madman? I heard that on crit! Let me out right now! Wait here. I'll look for the key.
Thanks, brother. I remember that. Let's get out of here. Right. Just as soon as I kill him. Best him. Vicky, you daft bastard. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Sure sounds better than the Butcher of Blaviken. So be it. Let's get out of here. Wanna look around some more? In that case, I'll meet you on the beach, near the port. Gonna head back to Hard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres? Regret ever setting out on this expedition? What's the matter now? Giant's dead. And the folk of Unvik can go home. And Ceres? She back yet? Yeah. And she did what she set out to do on Speakerog. She always liked competing with me. Except so far I've always won. Well, time I was on my way. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, Uncrate. Ah, 
Geralt. How are things? Got another voyage in mind? Of course. Ice Giant was just the beginning. Besides, I got all kinds of horse sons already saying he wasn't that big. What about the folk of Undvik? You and your men were gonna help them return to their isle and rebuild Urskar. Cyrus will take care of that. You and Ciri, as I remember, you two grew up together, at least for a while. Aye. Spent half her childhood in the Isles. Always at my heels she was. Scrawny wee thing. But her leaps on ice skates. Why, none of us could rival them. Tried to outdo her once. Smashed me mouth on a rock. And then you went to Krach and announced you'd agreed to wed. You hear of that? Aye. We had twelve winters on us. Both. Any thought of continuing with that romance? Me da whipped it out of me head. <laughs> Wonder what it'd be like to see her now. Farewell, on crate. Look there, crew! Whitehair's returned! What brings you to us? I killed the giant. Killed him? Did what my whole crew couldn't? Hear that, lads? Are you not ashamed? When you're done talking to yourself, sail back to Ard Skellig with me. Your people have found shelter there, and you're still their leader. Oh, aye. They can come back now. Look alive, crew. We've got to hurry. Got a finisher? Oh, she'll be a lovely vessel. Perfect for a funeral. Look there, crew. Whitehair's returned. What brings you to us? Got nails and twine for you. What? Oh, yes. Finally. Poor Willem's ear will stay put. Got nails and twine for you. What? Oh, yes. Finally. Poor Willem's ear will stay put. I should go. Fare you well.